Which, why did it take you so long to perhaps, perhaps break them, I suppose? Uh, they're a pretty good team, yeah. Um, game was uh, tight, tight all the way. Um, we got a few little breaks and uh, they, they kept coming back and um, you know, a, a bit around uh, stoppages, pretty classy through there and um, you know, as much as pretty proud of the way our boys held up, we've got a lot of work to do to get you know, Wellingham and Hutchings and Gaff gelling together through there. So uh, I, you know, I was pretty pleased with the way we went about it, but that was the area that gave them first use. In the end, possibly your experienced boys. So, did you turn to you know Cox had a great last quarter. Wellingham probably his best to the footy for you. I'm guessing mm. that. But, you know the experience and Kennedy's five. The difference between your boys and a young. Boy. Um, yeah, I don't. Uh, I suppose you can look at it various ways. Um, but. Uh, yeah, for for us, Coxie obviously was uh, was good, but I'm still really pleased the way Scotty Lysett's coming along and took good mark late in the game and uh, used the ball really well for us when we wanted a peak possession. He's kicked down the line, I think, to Darling maybe for Jack's last shot at goal. Um, yeah, McKenzie continues to uh, play really well for us. Um, so across the board, I thought at Cripps, you know, he spent a fair a bit of the game on Ablett. Um, so that was great opportunity for him. He hasn't had a lot of time through the midfield yet, and we think he's developing um, as a player that will be able to do that. So we got the opportunity to give him a lot more time today with Prudis out of the side um, and Maston out of the side. So, uh, yeah, we're learning a lot about the group, and um, but it's going to take a long time, one, to build it, but the other side of it obviously is... Um, there's players that will come back in there, into that lineup as well. Is this a, you know, it's a bit of a cliche when you've got this, that sort of injury attrition rate, it, it offers an experience and opportunity to you know, people like Dalziel and so on. I mean, yeah. A lot of those Hutchings playing pretty good footy. Yeah, they're coming along really well. It's uh, it's experience that um, is, you know, Hutchings has been a very, very good waffle player for two or three years. Um, he's learning more than he would by just dominating in the waffle throughout the remainder of this year. So. Um, great opportunities for those guys to learn and um, you know, it's the, the job for them now is to show enough to challenge um, you know, the shoeys and those guys when they want to come back in the side and these guys to say, well, we can um, hold our own and match up pretty well and you've got to make the call on who the best 22 is. John, you seem to control Ablett pretty well. Selwood in particular made him, I mean, he got a fair bit of the ball in the end, but he was... Mate, to earn it, he had a lot of quick possessions and a lot of possessions in tackles. Yeah, he's obviously a, um, I don't have to say how good he is, but we're pretty happy. Scotty Selwood thought, um, yeah, played a, a wonderful game in the role that we had set for him for us today. And you mentioned Pops earlier, can you just take us through his influence today, particularly as the game wore on and everyone got fired? Yeah, uh, well, he's. He's been a wonderful f footballer. I think he had 44 hitouts today. That's probably the big impact for us. So, uh, that at least made it probably tougher for for the um, Gold Coast midfielders. Um, but his work around the ground again, some of his grabs and his kicking, other than getting one smothered in 10 metres out from goal early, was pretty good. And Prittis today? Yes, yeah, Pritter had a tight quad, so he, he pulled up tight last week after the game and uh, we were really hopeful that, that he would come up, but it didn't get to the point where uh, he felt he could um, play, basically. Um, so we gave him every opportunity um, and he's played with similar types of injuries before. Uh, this was just that tipped over just where he didn't think he could contribute at the required level. So all good for next week? Should be, yeah, but you know, you never really know with those things. But as I said, uh, he's played with them. You know, when we on Monday uh, we thought he'd be out by Wednesday, he was feeling better and a real good chance. So um, we were just going to give him that chance. And we heard Kerr had 35 possessions and three goals in the loss of today. McGinnity, did you say? Uh, Kerr. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah Ginner had. Maybe McGinnity had. Yeah, no, he kicked three and had about 30. Okay. I'll ask him up to go then. But yeah, good. It's not. I'll tell him you ask. <laughs> Is it a simple case of if his knee pulls up, well, he'll be in next week? Um, yeah, well, it's it's certainly something to consider. If he pulls up well, 
Uh, we want to see how well he's running across the ground. If he's had, uh, if he's run the game out really well and he's pulled up really well and he gets a chance to train, then he's on the right track. Mm. You know, the challenge is that he hasn't been able to do that. Um, so we'll keep our fingers crossed that that his knee pulls up well from this and um, and uh, we can see Daniel out there doing his stuff. Do you want him to play? You want him to Essendon next Sunday? You've got an extra day. Yeah, he'd be very handy in our lineup. Yeah, absolutely. What's your, what's your views on the Essendon game? Um, there is some history. There's been comments. You know, what's the history? Out. Oh, you've had some good history against him. Close mm. games, the yeah. jacket game. And yeah, yeah. So there is history there. And mm. I said, but there's just that bit more with the insinuation that, that, that you might be sort of up to something coming from their people with... Yeah, no, nah, that's... But does that add to it at all? Is it a... Not to me, no. No, not at all. It's certainly... Um, they're a good side and uh, we, we pushed them and they uh, overran us in the last quarter here last time. So, you know, our focus is around how well we want to play out the year and uh, take it up to these sides that have got finals football ahead of them. Um, you know, we're not out of the running there, but uh, we have to we have to play well enough to beat the teams we play coming up. That'll be our absolute focus. Is that, um, you've touched on it, but is that a concession that you're probably not going to make finals when you say you want to... Influence in no, we've been saying that for three or four weeks. We've been saying it really since the mid-season buy about how we want to go about it. And, um, you know, we, when you lose a few players, you're challenging the other guys to step in and show something and being really pleased how they're going. On how good a day did Josh have and how good a year has Josh Kennedy had? Um, uh, he's been very consistent all year. Um, yeah, so... Um, all the stats sort of talk for themselves, but uh, you know he's a wonderful leader around our footy club on and off the field. Does a great job. Do you think he gets due credit in the competition? Um, I think so. Yeah. A fitting Coleman medalist potentially. If he wins it, <laughs> if he wins it. Yeah. Where's he now? He's, he's fitting. fitting. <laughs> if he doesn't win it, then he's got to work harder next year. <laughs> Who do you get back next week, mate? Uh, well, the players that got through today, um, Rosa, Kerr, McGinnity, um, and oh, Brad Dick played really well. I think he might have kicked three as well. Um, and Adam Selwood played really well, really well today. So um, some good, really good op opportunities for those guys to look at anyway. Um, but as I said, looking at the way some of the guys have been going, um, and there's not too many in the team at the moment that we're disappointed in. Um, so it'll be a tough call if we decide to leave anyone out um, rather than through injury. And it looks like that's going to be the choice we've got this week. Yeah, last month we've basically just made changes through injury. Should we not know you? Yeah, well, Nick, uh, Nick started making noise about wanting to play this week because he was feeling so good. So he give me 10 days off, I'll be feeling good too, Nick. You know, maybe I could play. So what, what you mentioned, I think, when you sat him down, that he'd be gradually built up and yeah. then you'd see how he reacts. Yeah, that's right. So he's done a run, he's done a light run, and I'm not sure exactly what, how far and how quick and all that sort of thing, but he'll build that up. Um, so uh, that that may, be, may mean being um, available for selection this week, depending on how it all goes, or it may not. So I'm, we're not really in any... We won't be close to making that call until Thursday. Um... Should we, uh, yeah, I would expect there's some chance, yeah, but again, um, we're not rushing that, so we'll just follow his progression and see how he is. Given he's, he sort of had a couple of weeks, then he was back in a couple more weeks, is he almost, does he almost have to come back through the waffle now? Should we? Yeah. Um, if he's available this week, um, I think he'd be right to go. I think we would look at him being available, but, um, yeah, that, it's one of those things that we have to ponder. And on Brad Dick, a guy with unbelievable talent when he's fit and he's had periods where he's been really pushing up his name. Yeah. How can you get a look at him in the last three rounds of the season just to see what he can do? Well, if he, if he d deserves an opportunity to be selected, we'll select him, not just because we want to have a look at him. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just great to see him get through because he has had issues with his body and... Um, you know, he's a wonderful young man around the footy club, so it's good to see him going well. Just off the top of your head, has he been? Has he had any weeks off recently in terms of...? Yeah, a couple of weeks ago he might have. And I can't remember if it was a bye or... Which he, he wouldn't have played if they didn't have the bye, I think. But 
Um, but he's starting, he's kept his training up, so his fitness is pretty good. Played in that Foxtel Cup game in the wet, if you remember. So I think there was a buy somewhere before or after that, or we rested him in one of them so he could play in that and played really well in that, those conditions in that night.